Wow, things are getting really, uh, really, really good, really good. However, oh, look at that thing! Oh, that is sick! Wow, that is so cool! So now we have this guy to run and do stuff for us? Oh my gosh, what, what should we have it do? Hello everyone, I'm Kidditz and welcome back to Frostpunk! The steampunk survival game which you have to build a colony in the midst of a frozen apocalypse. Oh my goodness, literally can't see anything because of a snowstorm. Anyway though, so uh, up until this point, we've pretty much just been getting the basics all set up and I think we've done so pretty well. No one's really dying, we got enough materials, but we're kind of running out of everything. And by that I mean we've been gathering stuff from just piles that have been lying around this hole. And those piles are running out real quick. So I want to try and get all of the automatic resource gatherers set up. So like a steelworks coal thumper. And then we can dive into some tier 1 type tech. Or at least that's the goal. But yeah, hopefully we'll be okay. And if guys enjoy, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. But anyway, I'm going to get started on things. And I'll meet back with you when I make some progress. Alright, so the Coal Thumbers research, gonna start research on the Steelworks now, and let's see what this thing does. So, uh, this pumps pressurized water into underground coal deposits, the Coal Thumper washes the uh, ore, and can make a pile of up to 560 coal per standard workday? Damn, That is insane! So we're gonna have coal forever, essentially. And I can just add this right here. I don't know if it has to be by the stockpiles, but I have a gathering post right in here too, so boom! That's gonna be nuts! Oh, and now what is this? Oh, it's the robot! Yo! Freaking giant robot coming to help out with our little town! Sick! What the heck do we do with the robot now? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so apparently these robots can do an entire crew's work at 60% efficiency, but work 24 hours. That is insane. But what do these people have to say about that? Oh, it's just using uh, not automatons. Okay. Wow, things are getting really, uh, really, really, really good. However, oh, look at that thing! Oh, that is sick! Wow, that is so cool! So now we have this guy to run and do stuff for us? Oh my gosh, what, what should we have it do? We don't really need really that much done though, that's kind of sad. I guess there's this, um, automaton on there. So now we have 45 extra people to do stuff. Oh my gosh, we got people for days. Well, let's have them gather food for sure. And then I just need to build a bunch of houses for all the homeless people. And I have them all pretty much prepared. However, I found out one thing, that if you guys ever play this game, uh, just a heads up, but if you build a road, you can't delete it. So I built this road kind of just to prep out this area. And yeah, now it's kind of stuck there. Can't click on it to get rid of it. And I kind of wasted all this space. So that kind of sucks. Anyway though, let's send the people out to go exploring. And we'll just send them over there. Okay, and the steelworks is now done now. So, extracts iron ore from deep deposits and processes it to make 40 steel a day. Alright, so that's like the second thing we have processed. We have coal, we have wood, and now steel. We're pretty much all good on things then. And where's a good place to put one of these? It's looking like those are the only two. Huh. So the only places we can get this stuff from? Okay, well... So be it. But once that's built, we're pretty much set on all resources. Yeah, things are looking good. And this thing is amazing. I already thought this game was beautiful, but... Did they have to do all this detail to this machine? No. And my god! That is just so awesome. I love that. Steel wreckage. Yeah, we really have to get to researching stuff to make that thing better. So I'll be making a couple more of the uh, uh, workshops to speed up research. Then we should be okay. 
Okay, and we have drawing boards researched now, so that's our next tier of text available. So let's see, what can we research now? This is like a whole new world. Uh, resource depot, upgrade, coal mining. We already have the thumper, is this any different? Ah, 240 coal per standard workday. That's pretty good. All right, so now I can make a coal mine. So this is like the last big resource thing I need, I think. And there's only a couple places to go for this, so I think here's gonna be the best spot. I have the coal thumper here. So, yeah. All right, and then once that's done, we're pretty much set. Like, we have coal. Oh, what's this? Steam cores? Uh, we have used our first steam core. Steam cores are a necessary component in advanced technologies. And, oh, we can't manufacturing, manufacture them in the city. So we can only find them. Hmm. Okay, well, that's kind of spooky. But still, necessary. I think a coal plant is kind of important when the whole society the whole society <laughs> runs on coal. And yeah, I think we're out of coal piles as well. I think that was... Yeah. I'm out of all piles of resources. So we just skirted by on that, actually. Yeah, without that, we would have no coal right now. That's kind of spooky to know. Kind of spooky. And where do we go from here? More scouts? Mm. Well, I think what we need here is the generator power upgrade. Because this increases all temperatures and all heat zones by one. And looking at our heat map here, people are getting kind of cold. Like, chilly houses means more sick people, and we don't want everyone to get sick. So I think that's going to be necessary. Since it keeps getting colder and colder. Alrighty. I was looking through our economic stuff, and... I kind of screwed the entire colony by getting one of the upgrades, like the heating upgrade. Because although we needed it, uh, our consumption is now over a thousand a day, and our gain is not even half that. So we're in a bit of trouble right now, just a tiny bit of trouble right now. So uh, what we have to do, pretty much, is make another coal mine. Like, I wish there's another solution or answer to that, but seriously... That's spooky. And the reason that's really spooky is because that's our only other steam core. So uh, it sucks to lose that, but again, we're gonna die without it. Like 14 hours left. Once this workday is done, no one's gonna keep gathering coal. We're, we're, <laughs> we're screwed, guys. So uh, hopefully that gets done quick. On a good note though, I just got a sawmill upgrade which increases their efficiency by 25%, which is huge. And now I'm noticing there's a charcoal kiln so we can use all the extra wood we gather to make more coal. Thank goodness. So that is really, really, really what we need right now. However, we don't have enough iron for that. So I'm really just hoping we can make it to getting enough iron before we run out of coal. And it's gonna come pretty close. It's gonna come pretty close. And it seems our scouts have reached a weather station. Ooh, and look at that, they found coal in a steam core. The, the two things I needed. It's like, hey, game, I'm having trouble with this one thing. Guess what we just found? That one thing. Grim forecast. Uh, we found scientists' notes. Uh, notes. Uh, they, predict, they predict that the great cold is going to get much worse. Oh. What's more troubling is that the observations ended abruptly months ago. There's also not a can, a spam, not even a crumb of bread left in the pantry. It's obvious, they, it's obvious they've moved out for good. And we can see the city of Winterhome from the roof of the weather station. <gasps> oh my gosh! It's Winterhome! Do we want to go there, or do we want the coal mine? Well, like I said, we're kind of having a coal issue, so we'll check out Winterhome in a sec. It's a, just a nice little town. They should be okay. Hmm. With the weather station news, it seems that people are kind of getting freaked out. Some are starting to wonder whether the evacuation from London was a good idea. Well, you kind of went north in the middle of an ice age. It's, I don't... Yeah. Uh, a few are lamenting openly. I knew we shouldn't have come. At least London had real houses, not tents and wooden shacks. 
We'll have some soon enough. Like, you already knew London was screwed, so at least you have a chance here. And now what's this? Research, or resource station. Oh, resource for storage not specified. Oh yes, I made a new one of these guys and needed to make another resource storage because I think we're gonna need more storage for coal. Again, extra 900. Since we're going through like so much a day, definitely needed that. And then my automaton, we're not gathering enough food, so I suppose I'll send it over to gather more wood. All right, nine hours left. We are nowhere near our production capacity for coal. Send in all the people into the new coal place. What's our robot doing? Is he attacking our tower? Mr. Robot, what are, what are you doing, buddy? Stop, That that's our way of life. Is this the robot rebellion? Is it trying to destroy our, our generator? Buddy, stop, stop it. Or is this what it's like when it's refilling? That's probably the case. Oh yeah, it's good. All right, well go back to work, my dude. Oh my gosh, the temperature raised. Thank God, but we have less than an hour's left worth of coal. Oh no, oh no. Well, I just passed into a law, uh, emergency shifts, which makes people work for 24 hours. And that will raise discontent. However, we're probably gonna die if we don't get that going right now. So, where's that button? Discontent will rise. Oh man. Or they'll all get cold and die. No! <laughs> Shit. We're out. We're out, boys. Uh oh. Everything was going so well until everyone died. The classic story of Kibitz and his. Crazy little adventures. Okay, it's shutting down. The scouts, they're two hours out and they have extra coal. Which will only last us like a second. Oh, man. Uh, economy wise, <gasps> we're positive. We're positive because the heat raised. It's not a thousand anymore. Turn it on, turn it on. Shut down, level one. We're back, baby. Oh my goodness. A brief little brush with disaster right there. Four people got sick in that matter of like two seconds, which is pretty insane. Do I take them off the coal thumper? No, that's like the danger zone right there. Where are my engineers then? They're getting coal. So I guess I'll take these guys off for research. Just two. That's fine. Get more people uh, taken care of. All right. And the health crisis is over. Our coal crisis, we brushed with oh so briefly, but we have survived. Oh man, oh man. It looks like new problems are still on the horizon, but we'll deal with those next time. I think we've made a lot of progress here expanding our new colony. So if you guys enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Well, that's going to be all. So thanks again for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.